All right, we took the 75 and stand. Uh, the lids for both 75s are in this tank, and we can't get them out. They're covered in ice. Uh, we tried, but they are buried in ice. So uh, uh, you're gonna have to wait on the covers. Sorry. All right, everybody. Uh, John and I, we are on our way. We got the uh, got the 75. I don't know if I can show it. Uh, here, you do it. <laughs> All right, we got the 75 Bang. and the stand for O'Brien, and uh, we're taking it down. We should get down there about noon, and he's going to, Luke wasn't able to make it, but hopefully uh, 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 O'Brien has his brother and nephew coming. And I'm not sure about the homeowner, uh, if he can help out. I think his name is Ryan, but uh, we'll see. We'll try and figure this out. Maybe we can get a post out real quick, and anybody close to Columbus can give us a hand. to Ryan and uh, O'Brien and his brother son they're removing the tanks right now and we are waiting on another person Sean he uh, answered my uh, he, you know my my help on Facebook so he's supposed to show up and um, we'll get this loaded right. oh here I can get that even here Drop this at my place first or something? Uh -uh. Okay. I was just saying, I didn't know if we were moving enough. You think you're getting both in? Should be up to Really? So I can eat the Get the back. He's got a hurt here. <laughs> Maybe. There it goes. It just sits like that. Yeah, I don't want to push on it and be the one to break something. Yeah, it's that. It's gonna you know, too much pressure. Strap it to the roof too. One that was frozen in the tank, I'll use it. Okay. And then uh, whatever, you know, let's, when we get this loaded, if we got extra, I'll leave one with you, no problem. All right, now. You wanna back this up another three feet then? Yeah, I can. All right, let me back up. Still more. got one more person to wait for, too. What's that? You should still wait for that dude first. Which dude? Oh, yeah. Sean. Sean. He said like a few minutes past noon. Okay. It's very heavy. It's a glass part. It can't be any heavier than the ones we carried out of that basement. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if we can get it. Is it on a, or it's on a lip, so let's get it off the lip. There should be, do you have a whole end, do you think? You do? John, do you want to get back and give this guy a hand? And I can film. If you guys think you got it, then hold on. Um, Ryan, you want to grab my camera? <laughs> Thank you. So you guys think, can you guys lift that in? You got it all right? Let's give when it a test on it and see if we can pick it up. I mean, don't feel too bad. It? Huh? 
Just watch your back step. <laughs> yeah. More this, the stand out the way than anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, if you lift it up, like roll the stand out. Just roll this back this way. Well, you know, you that way, when you can walk out it. Now, probably better for you. Mm. What's that? Looks like top's gonna be open anyways. It's gonna have to stay open some way. Yep. How far does it shut though? Yep. And I got a pillow back there so that I can put it right here. Okay. What about and the sand the, going on the roof? The sand, we're gonna put it on the roof because if we put that thing back on here, it, we, it, right. it's gonna smack into it, I think. You don't think it'll I fit mean, in there? We, no, I don't. It's, no, it's, 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 it's wider than this. It's wider than that. It'll be the same problem as with no. that 75. Right. And I wasn't even recording. What? I missed the move from there to there. Dang it. <laughs> but <laughs> these three moved it. Well, no, she jumped in at the end. <laughs> All right, it's in there. The stand will get outside, and we'll figure out. I'll probably, I'll, I'm going to pull the truck up a little bit, and then we'll see what we're going to do. All right. Where'd John go? Oh. oh, all right, yeah, we have. Did all these boxes and stuff go? Yeah. Okay. Um, those are all uh, filters. Oh my gosh. Ooh, all this? Okay, so all this stuff will go next to the tank then, yeah. or in the tank then. That's, right. That's the lid for the tank, obviously. Oh, okay. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Oh. Let's put two caps to those two FX6s. All right. Okay, well, thank you very much. Well, we obviously don't well, need it right now. So. Uh, yeah, and I know you don't want to be on camera, <laughs> but what, what, <laughs> right, so what happened? What well, made you get rid of the oh, tank? Well, and... So we had two bullpens, and the first one actually was getting really big, and it was great, but um, we had some dead worms, unfortunately, that were mixed in. And she unfortunately passed away. These bad away. boys are nice. Uh, uh, the second boat that we had, he wasn't growing quickly, which is typical. Um, but he started having a curved spine, and nothing we tried could get him well, and then he passed. So uh, sorry, once he passed, dear. we decided to close down the tank, and then my husband, our plan down the road is to <laughs> do something more like a big pond, where he can have two very large boats, and he wants to do uh, air water. Yeah, there you go. So, but okay. that's going to be like a whole different okay. setup. So, if anybody else can use this stuff, we're right. happy, happy for other fish enthusiasts to get it. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. It'll definitely go to good use. Good. <laughs> All righty. Well, we'll get this stuff loaded real Gosh, quick. Brand new. Yeah, that's what I meant to ask for. What's that? Oh, you should have said something. I asked you what you needed. I, I had everything I thought, and I started looking last night. <laughs> and I didn't have the Oh, we just stuff. finished. Sean. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. Yeah, you know, hey, you one, can. One, uh, yeah, we another. showed up a little early, and I didn't think they so were going to do it. it the and they're like, yeah, so. So then you get the stand on the roof, but the tank's done. Yeah. We just got, yeah, if you can help with the getting the stand on the roof, uh, that's what we got. All right, you want to try and get that stand up there then? Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. Should we try to close that first, the back? Uh, you, well, all right, yeah, let's. I don't know how we're going to tie this up. Oh, we buried all our things over here too. Well, that's no good. See how long it takes Reaver to find some straps in this van. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and a mess, a mess, a mess. All right, we use that pillow and we kind of strap down. Like I said, we're not going to get the stand on there neither, though. We are going to put it up top. Otherwise, this thing would be wide open up to here. Forget that. So, uh, 
Sean and them are gonna get that stand and get it up on the roof and we'll get it tied down and uh, get out of here. Um, grab it from the bottom, I guess. Yeah. Try put, it, set it on the doors, no, or back. Yeah, one of the. Yeah, I'd flip it on the doors. That way the doors don't open. Yeah. Wind can't catch it. And we can strap it down. about even. All right, I'll get my skinny butt up there and start strapping it. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that'll look good going down the road. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to back up and go around. <laughs> yeah, you can't hit those trees. All right. You want me to come in and help you? What's that? That's what All we're right. going to see if it'll fit right here. Yeah, he's giving us a mini fridge that uh, he was storing the food in as well. So we're going to see if it fits right here and we'll strap that in as well. We got the base strapped in. So looks like we're pretty ready to go. Pretty ready. And then uh, why don't you stra uh, start strapping yours down, see what you need. Is that that six small rod there? Uh, I got some things I can put in between. I got foam. Actually, we can flip it around so the back, the back is, yeah, that's what yeah, I was yeah, Damn, yeah. this has got a freezer, too. Wow. Yeah. And if they do, it's like at one spot that tall with a little cheap plastic door in there. Right. That's not bad at all. Cool, still got ice in it. Wow, that's nice. Oh, this is going to work out just fine. Awesome. All right, all right. we'll get this tied down, too. I'm illiterate with strength. All right, I'm standing next to Ryan. He doesn't want to be on, but thank you, sir. We appreciate everything. Uh, we talked to your wife, so she told us the problem with your uh, the bow friends? Bow friends. But you're going to plan to get more, though, eventually, if you yeah, get your pond. Yeah, it's going to be your tech in a couple yeah. years. Okay. But uh, thank you, sir. We appreciate everything. Thank you so much. And see, I'm leaving you. <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here. Uh, Sean, thank you, sir, again. And we're actually going to go up the street. O'Brien knows where there's a White Castle. Oh, White so, Castle. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go get us some White Castle, guys. So hold on while we get out of here. All right, we got the fridge. We got the stand. We got everything loaded up. They gave us a lot of supplies and stuff. So uh, we're going to take it easy. We're going to go up the street, get some White Castle, see how this goes, and keep an eye on everything. O'Brien put that stand on top. I told him we had a couple straps, but he only took one. I'm like, dude, it makes me nervous, but we're gonna follow him up the street. We'll see how this goes. And of course, O'Brien, John, and wife, we stopped into my favorite place, White Castle. Yep, we're getting some White Castle. Sorry, brother. <laughs> John and I are enjoying some delicious, fresh White Castles. Yummy. They are so good, especially when they're fresh. I mean, sorry, brother, I, I'd bring you some back, but when they come back cold, they're just not the same. 
Hey, right, John and I just made it back, and, uh, you know, we were talking on a live show for those people who weren't listening. Jim Sheasley, he's been outstanding, always helping, volunteering, bringing stuff over. His tank went down. So, uh, I, this, uh, you know, tank that came in, this 210, I believe, we're going to give this to Jim. And uh, this will be his new tank and his new stand. So we're just going to, me and Jean, we're just going to take out, like they gave us a fridge. Uh, they gave us a bunch of supplies, a couple F6s, uh, things of that sort. We're going to get all that stuff out of here uh, so Rich can go through that. But, yeah, the stand and the tank, we're going to give that to Jim. One ten, that means there's three one tens. Wow, brand those new. are brand new. Well, he's kind of shit when you see them, man. Ooh. <laughs> all right, so we're emptying the van of all the stuff. And then uh, we're getting it in there. Okay. We pretty much emptied it. And everything from here all the way down there was stuff she gave us. And there's quite a bit. There was like three brand new AquaClear 110s alone. All kinds of stuff. But we're going to leave the tank in there. And I'm just going to get my food out of there. Get my stuff into the uh, into the car. All right, it is empty. So the only thing we got to try and figure out is a time and date to get this over to Jim. So, all right, it was an awesome day, really. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, actually, the move went really well. It actually took like 43 minutes and it really didn't take that long most of the time we were standing around kind of talking this and that and most of the time was loading everything else in the garage uh it was awesome of uh o'brien to bring his brother and his brother's son xavier who uh thank you uh because it was him and john on the one end and uh o'brien on the other i don't know what happened it looked like i thought i was recording when i wasn't and that's why you ended up seeing, you know, it like on the bench in the house. And then when I asked Ryan, the homeowner, for it, I thought I hit it to start the recording to show him moving the tank, and I turned it off. I don't know, but you guys seen what happened. It was really easy. We were able to back right up and get it right in. So it, it, it was really, it was nice and easy. And if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if it happened. I haven't talked to Rich, but... I know they were supposed to set up uh, plans to get that to uh, Jim Sheasley, just like I mentioned in you know the last video. We do have plans to go back to Columbus again, uh, again uh, Tuesday. Me and John again. This time we're going for fish and some tanks. Uh, not sure what happened. Uh, I, I think uh, she she has to move and she just can't take everything with her. There's 10s, 20s, I don't know how many or so forth, two tanks worth of fish, I believe. Um, so I believe there might even be a fire eel, but we'll have to check on that. And Sean, thank you for showing up. He showed up a little late. I mean, like I said, you know, we thought we needed help and it was, you know, easy peasy. It was, it was awesome. It was a, one of the easiest moves. It was so awesome that Ryan... And his wife had that tank and everything set up right there at the front door. On rollers. Amazing. So, uh, alright you guys. You uh, stay tuned and uh, hit that like, subscribe, and share. And we'll go deeper with the Reaper.